Welcome to ESC TV. My name is Wessel Nieuwenweg. I'm the Congress and Meetings Director at ESC. I'm here today joined by James Rees from Excel London. Welcome, James. Thanks, Wessel. Uh, absolutely delighted to be here today. Um, yes, uh, my name is James Rees. I'm the Executive Director uh, at Excel London. Uh, and I must say we're absolutely delighted that um, ESC has chosen uh, to come to our city next year. Um, Excel is a relatively new venue and actually we have a, a series of exhibition halls and importantly a big convention centre uh, which was built recently specifically with medical association events in mind and of course for us the ultimate uh, medical association event to host is the ESC Congress so we're absolutely delighted that next year we'll be opening our doors to, to your delegates and exhibitors uh, and stakeholders. Great. Uh, would you be able to explain to our viewers a little bit more what it really means for London and the Excel to host such a, such a Congress? Well, um, London's famous as a business city, of course, but we're, almost, uh, we're all, uh, also uh, famous for hosting events and theatre. But the ESC Congress has not been to London since 1952. Um, so we felt it was about time uh, that should happen. And I think also uh, with our hosting of the Olympic Games in 2012, uh, that gave us uh, a really good chance to, to showcase London's ability to host huge uh, events uh, and to um, deliver events for many thousands, and in fact for the Olympics, many millions of, mm -hmm. of attendees. Um, and so we really feel that um, London's time has come uh, we've got a good track record of hosting major congresses uh, and so we really think um, that the ESC Congress in 2015 should be a, a fabulous occasion and we're, we're so delighted. Excellent. So, yeah, you mentioned we were there last in 52, so we could consider it a new venue for us. So what could our participants uh, expect from London? Well, that's, that's a really good point and, and we are... Uh, we're situated in the, uh, the East London uh, Events District where the Olympic Games and Paralymp Paralympic Games were held. Um, the, the benefits we've had as a venue and as a city uh, was that the Olympic Games injected £9 billion worth of investment into the city and that went into uh, transport, into hotels, into social venues um, and of course all organisers that bring their events to London now have the, the benefit of that. Um, and for instance, bearing in mind you have many thousands of delegates, uh, Excel now can cater for 36,000 delegates per hour via our public transport system. Um, so we think we're quite unique as far as Europe's concerned uh, and we'll be able to uh, easily transport your delegates and house them in great hotels, offer them great uh, bars, restaurants, theatres as well uh, when they stay in our city. Wonderful. Uh, is there anything else you want our viewers to know? Uh, well, I think um, we uh, very much view all our events as a, a partnership relationship uh, between the city, the venue and ESC as the organisers and it's really our job to bring out the best value in London. So we've uh, already got plans in place for uh, discounted travel vouchers, uh, discounted restaurants, of course, London has many um, free attractions, our museums, our galleries, our parks. Um, so there's loads uh, for your delegates to do in London. Uh, very important educational and scientific discussions, but we hope they will come to London, have great fun, have great value, uh, and of course, come back in future years, we hope. Well, thank you, James. That sounds wonderful. We look forward to coming to London next year in 2015. Thank you very much. Well, thank you uh, for, for choosing London and we really are looking forward to hosting uh, your delegates from all over the world um, in, in our city next year. So thank you.